Okay guys, let's go deeper in a bond hybrid cycle. Uh, basically, bond hybrid cycle ni ialah a cycle of reaction yang di mana kita nak calculate lattice energy of ionic crystalline solids yang kita tak boleh nak determine pun through experiment. Contoh ionic crystalline solids ni ialah tadi kita dah bincang ionic crystalline solid ni contohnya macam apa? NaCl, KCl, okay. Any compound yang in solid state, okay, in solid state lepas tu Uh, dia ada ionic bond. Okay, so basically bond hybrid cycle ni dia akan summarisekan the relationship between pelbagai entropy changes yang involved di dalam formation of an ionic crystal. Okay, uh, ionic crystal ni terhasil di dar daripada reaction of a metal yang often di kita boleh jumpa dekat group 1 dengan group 2 in the periodic table of elements and also with the non-metal elements. Okay, okay. ni metal, ni non-metal elements. Okay. Uh, and uh, bond hybrid cycle ni kita boleh construct dia by using the energy cycle method and it always have to start with the entropy of formation and ends with the lattice energy okay so kan dia cakap kat sini summarize between the various entropy changes yang terlibat dalam formation of ionic crystal so you need to remember file cycle okay sebab dia start dengan formation ends dengan lattice energy A ni kat sini represents uh, entropy of atomization of metal elements. E kat sebelah ni pula ialah represents uh, entropy of atomization for non-metal elements. IE uh, represents entropy of ionization energy for metal untuk dia jadi positive charge. EA pula ialah entropy of electron affinity for non-metal untuk dia jadi negative charge. Okay, so you just remember file cycle je. Okay, contoh yang pertama, dia suruh kamu find the lattice energy from the following data. You ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ha, ada 5 jenis different enthalpies here. So, how can you find the lattice energy? Okay, the solution here is, first of all, you write down the thermochemical equation of the lattice energy of the compound. Compound tersebut compound tu, mana yang nak cari compound? K bukan compound. K plus bukan compound. Cl2, Cl minus bukan compound. K, Cl is a compound. K, so kat sini bermaksud, dia suruh kamu cari lattice energy of KCl. K, so lattice energy yang terlibat di dalam bond haber cycle, lattice energy formation ke, uh, apa tu, dissociation. Formation. So, kalau lattice energy formation, apa maksud lattice energy formation? Ha, you kena ingat balik. Lattice energy formation ialah heat release. Kalau heat release, that means you have to expect the lattice energy to kena negatif lah. Dia punya sign. Okay. Heat release when one mole of a solid ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ion. Solid ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ion. So, compound yang terlibat ialah KCl. Solid ionic compound bermaksud KCl ni must be in oh, sorry, KCl ni must be in solid phase. Okay. Since that KCl ni form daripada gaseous ion bermaksud KCl ni kena berada di bahagian produk. Gaseous ion apa yang menghasilkan KCl? K plus dengan Cl minus. Okay. K plus dengan pluskan dengan Cl minus. And then dia kata one mole of a uh, solid ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ions. That means ions ni must be in gaseous form gas form. Okay. Must be in gas form. Alright. So, dah balance dah. Ni satu mol, satu mol, satu mol. Okay. Dah balance. So, this gonna be your thermochemical equation untuk you punya lattice energy. Okay. The next step, you gonna label the enthalpies yang diberi dalam soalan yang banyak-banyak tu. Okay. Accordingly. According to diorang punya thermochemical equations. You need to remember F-A-A-I-E-E-A-L cycle. F bermaksud entropy of formation. A bermaksud entropy of atomization. I am pretty sure you dah hafal dah. Apa maksud entropy of formation? Apakah maksud entropy of atomization with dia punya apa tu? Examples. Uh, I.E. Ionization energy. E.A. 
electron affinity yang ni pun mesti terangkan apa maksud electron affinity punya ni IE ionization energy I believe this one um, daripada yang satu lagi kita dah belajar pasal ionization energy ni apa, apakah maksud ionization energy L stands for lattice energy ah uh, this one kita pun baru saja uh, go through pasal lattice energy ni apakah maksud lattice energy and we have construct the lattice energy punya thermochemical equation so if you look at here from the following data Okay, if you look at here, this is at uh, this is K uh, solid. K ni potassium. Potassium solid jadi potassium gas. Bermaksud, this is enthalpy of atomization because uh, you form satu mol of atomic gas. Okay, so daripada solid jadi gas. Okay, kalau daripada gas, uh, K uh, potassium gas, and then tiba-tiba dia dapat positive charge kalau dia dapat positive charge ion in gas form bermaksudnya dia tengah undergo entropy of ionization energy you can ingat eh apa beza IE dengan EA IE ialah untuk elemen yang akan form positive charge ion EA untuk elemen yang akan form negative charge ion. Okay. So, macam ni. Uh, half Cl2 solid dapat 1 mol of Cl gas atom. Bermaksud, this is enthalpy of atomization untuk Cl. Okay. And if you look at here, daripada the Cl gas atom, ada uh, negatively charge of Cl. Um, ion here in gas form bermaksud dia telah undergo electron affinity ok, kalau dapat negative charge maksud electron affinity so you label that one, this is enthalpy for electron affinity ok, yang ni pula what is this? this is, if you look at this equation, you can see that this what is one mole of a compound is formed from its element, element yang dekat sini ialah K, okay, potassium in solid sebab uh, potassium kan in group 1 and then Cl di dalam elemen dia ialah gas, Cl2 gas tetapi because um, kat sini 1 mol so dia kenalah half kan kat sini kalikan dengan half dekat Cl2 gas here. So this is actually enthalpy of formation kalau ikutkan uh, bond haber cycle you kena construct the cycle according to file cycle. Kena ada formation, entropy of formation, entropy of atomization kena ada dua. Satu untuk uh, satu untuk metal element, satu lagi untuk non-metal element. Okay. And then ionization energy untuk positive charge punya element. Electron affinity untuk negatively charge punya element. Lastly is the lattice energy of formation that we have built the thermochemical equation before. Okay, lastly, it is time for you to build the file cycle ataupun build the bond haber cycle. Okay, mesti you kena make sure entropy of formation equation ni kena jadikan dia sebagai target equation and you to, need to finish the cycle dengan entropy of lattice energy punya equation. Okay, so this is the enthalpy of formation. Okay, kalau bila you nak buat saja cycle, you kena letak energy di atas anak panah. Okay, so enthalpy of formation diberikan. Okay, next, you tahu kat sini, you ada kat sini, this is your ionic crystal solid. Okay, this is ionic crystal solid. Macam mana you tahu you kena buat bond haber cycle because you libatkan ionic crystal solid and then you nak kena let, cari lattice energy of formation melalui so many, uh, melalui atomization, ionization energy electron affinity punya cycle and in this case, kalau bond haber cycle uh, dia terhasil daripada ionic crystal solid ni mesti terhasil daripada metal elements in group 1 ataupun group 2 Okay, metal element group 1 atau group 2 dengan non-metal elements. Okay, this is non-metal elements. Okay, kalau according to 
file cycle. Sekarang ni kita dah done F. F ni ialah entropy of formation. Next ialah entropy of atomization untuk metal elements. Okay, entropy of atomization ni kalau let's say you tengok kat sini daripada uh, metal tu daripada solid. Jadi, 1 mol dia kena hasilkan 1 mol of atomic gas. Okay, so kalau kat sini, uh, non-metal elements ni in gaseous form. So, next uh, kita kena buat atomization untuk non-metal elements pula. Atomization untuk non-metal elements, you know that non-metal elements kebanyakannya macam oxygen, O2, H2, Cl2. Okay, so you kena halfkan dia punya ni kan. Kalau kat sini kan because you need to halfkan dia because you need to make it KCl, right? Tapi that's why you kena relatekan dengan atomization energy untuk non-metal di mana you you akan form 1 mol of 1 mol of gaseous atom. Okay? So sekarang ni uh, the next A ialah you nak atomkan you punya non metal. Uh, if you look at here, this is element. Sebab dia ada Cl2. Dia ada dua. You nak atomkan dia. You nak make sure daripada dua ni hilang. Jadi satu je. Satu mol of Cl atom. Okay. Uh, so, kita dah atomkan kita punya non metal. We have done this. Next ialah ionization energy. Ionization energy ni milik metal. Because daripada satu mol of atom metal gas dapat satu mol of positively charged positively charged ion untuk uh, metal element uh, metal apa tu metal atom gas yang kita dah buat before this okey uh, so daripada satu mol of uh, metal atom kita akan form satu mol of positively charged metal K plus here. Okay, so this is ionization energy. Okay, next ialah okay, dah, dah, dah lepas ionization energy milik siapa? Milik non, milik metal, bukan non-metal. Non-metal kalau you nak ionkan you punya non-metal, dia akan go through electron affinity. Okay, so electron affinity ni di, daripada satu mol of Cl atom non-metal atom, kita akan form satu mol of negatively charged non-metal element. Okay? And then, we know that enthalpy lattice of formation ialah bila satu mol of ionic crystal ionic crystal solid is formed from the uh, gases from dia punya gases ions. So, K plus plus Cl minus dapat KCl solid this is enthalpy of lattice energy. Uh, so, this is the complete set of your von Haber cycle. Okay. And this is what you want to find. So, kalau von Haber cycle, you kena ingat ni eh. In von Haber cycle, tak kisahlah uh, dia suruh kamu cari atomization ke, dia suruh kamu cari electron affinity ke, tapi di dalam von Haber cycle, you kena make sure you punya target equation you equation atas sekali ialah enthalpy of formation as your target equation kiranya ke atas sekali ni mestilah you punya enthalpy of formation punya equation okay and then lepas f apa atomization energy untuk metal element Lepas tu, atomization energy untuk non-metal element. Lepas tu, you kena ionikkan you punya metal element. Jadi, positively charged. And then, you ionikkan you punya non-metal element. Jadi, negatively charged. So, kalau bila you ionikkan you punya metal jadi positive charge, that process, we call it as ionization energy. Kalau kita ionikkan kita punya non-metal element jadi negative charge, kita namakan proses tu sebagai proses electron affinity. Okay, lepas tu nanti kita akan dapat positively charged gases atom dengan negatively charged gases ion. Okay, and from there, we will get a 
kita kena connectkan dia untuk dapatkan lattice energy. Okay, so this is equation for lattice energy. So, dimulai dengan uh, entropy of formation, disudahi dengan entropy of lattice. Okay, so for the last step, you can ingat eh, from Hess law, okay, from Hess law, anything yang you letak dekat target equation akan jadi subject of the equation. Okay, anything yang you letak dekat atas sekali of the cycle, target equation on the cycle, dia akan jadi subject of the equation. So, that's why lah in bond Haber cycle memang macam tu. Kat atas sekali mesti target equation dia ialah entropy of formation. Diikuti oleh uh, sebabkan dia uh, target equation paling atas sekali. Okay, so yang kat bawah-bawah tu akan jadi equals. Equals to uh, the summation of entropy yang terlibat. So, summation of entropy yang terlibat dalam bond Haber cycle kat bawah-bawah tu ialah atomization energy untuk metal, non-metal ionization energy untuk metal jadi positive charge, electron affinity untuk non-metal jadi negative charge lastly is enthalpy lattice and this is what we want to find ok, you jangan letak pula enthalpy lattice ni dekat subjek apa yang you nak cari ni uh, nampaknya berada di bawah sekali bukan target equation Uh, tapi in von Haber cycle, tak kisahlah you buat macam mana pun, you kena make sure dimulai dengan entropy of formation, dia sudahi dengan entropy of lattice. And since this is what you want to find from this chemical, uh, from this Haslow punya equation, okay, you rearrange sampai you bawa entropy lattice ni as your subject of your equation. And lastly, you will find out that your entropy lattice is negative 701 kilojoules per mole. I hope that you get this answer. Okay, another solution that you can do untuk draw the energy cycle diagram for bond harbor according to fail ni kan. Uh, you boleh draw the cycle energy where the positive value you show arrow upwards, negative value you show arrow downwards and it is all depends, the value tu all depends pada soalan tu. Okay. Uh, so, sekarang ni you draw the y-axis U is going to be enthalpy and you start with the enthalpy of formation. Okay, you buat arrow ke bawah because enthalpy of formation tu dia bagi uh, negative. Okay, so this is the enthalpy of formation. Okay, and then next je A for atomization energy untuk metal element. So, in this case your metal element ialah um, potassium. Okay, bila you atomizekan dia, you will get one mole of potassium atom in gas phase. Okay, so this is actually entropy of atomization untuk metal element. Okay, and then next, uh, sebab kenapa you tahu ni daripada solid, you dapat gas phase. Uh, that's why you know that it is atomization for metal elements. Next, ialah... Ah, apa perubahan this equation dengan this equation? Non-metal sama je kan? Yang berubah sekarang is your metal element daripada uh, atomic gas dia jadi ion. Uh, so, bila dia jadi ion, positive ion kan, positive charge, that means dia tengah undergoes ionization energy. Okay, for this cycle, dia tak kisahlah. Um, you susun macam mana ok asalkan you kena ada all of these enthalpies ok kena ada formation atomization for metal element atomization for non-metal ionization energy electron affinity untuk non-metal and juga lattice energy ok tapi in this case uh, dia macam prioritize formation first lepas tu dia prioritize metal elements punya transformation dahulu ok daripada um, apa tu Uh, sekarang ni, lepas atomization of metal, uh, kita buat ionization energy, okay? This is ionization energy of the metal element sebab kenapa? Because daripada uh, atomic gas, dia dapat ion, okay? Uh, so, dia dapat ion kat sini. That's where we know that dia tengah buat ionization energy. And the next ialah... 
if you look at this equation, apa perbezaan this equation dengan this equation? You look at here, this is half Cl2, this is 1 mole of Cl atom. Guess, any element, okay, if you look at here, this is element, ataupun di dalam molekul dia, molekul Cl2. Okay, but if you look at here, this is atom, Cl atom. Daripada Cl2 molecule jadi Cl atom. That means, okay, this equation di tengah undergoes entropy of atomization. Okay, but atomization untuk siapa? Untuk non-metal elements. Alright? Okay, and then next. Okay, daripada Cl, apa, apa perbezaan this equation dengan this equation? Okay, if you look at here, yang ni Cl atom and then this one Cl ion. Okay, ada negative sign here. Negative charge that. That means, dia tengah buat apa? Dia tengah buat proses electron affinity. Okay. Uh, lepas tu sekarang kita dah dapat K plus dengan Cl minus. So, turun bawah. That is entropy lattice. Okay, because K plus plus Cl minus uh, and then bila you dapat uh, compound ionic lattice, uh, ionic lattice, ionic crystal KCl ni, uh, inilah dia entropy of lattice that you need to find, okay, which is negative uh, 701 kilojoules per mole. It's up to you, you nak buat mana satu, tapi miss lagi selesa buat yang previous punya energy cycle diagram, okay.